I'm Jessica Gaddithin. This is your Thursday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with Mark Ronchetti. We're looking at a very interesting setup over the next couple of days. Look for strong southwesterly winds throughout the day tomorrow. Snow and rain snow mixes will develop around the four corners and up into the mountains of northern New Mexico and southwestern Colorado throughout the day. Winds really crank up on Saturday as a cold front slides in here. We'll continue with the mountain snow to the north. We could get a little bit of a quick mix here in the metro around noon on Saturday and then throughout the day on Sunday. The bigger story much colder air on the way. High Sunday in Albuquerque is 42 degrees. No jail time for two former Valencia High School football players who took part in the sexual hazing of one of their teammates. Jeremiah Carroll and Jake Sanchez sodomized the younger teammate in a locker room in the fall of 2010 when they were 17 years old. The two were charged as adults on rape charges and could have faced up to 40 years in prison. But in September, they pled no contest to aggravated battery charges. Today, the judge sentenced them as juveniles. They both got two years probation. A third teen, Curtis Peralta, took a deal and pled guilty to contributing to the delinquency of a minor. He has not been sentenced yet. Two cousins who accidentally started the largest wildfire in Arizona history are now on the hook for 3.7 million, or off the hook rather, for 3.7 million dollars. A judge set that figure today as restitution for property destroyed by the Wallow Fire and to cover cleanup costs. David and Caleb Malbuff's lawyers say it's unlikely they can ever pay that full amount. They're asking the judge to let Caleb pay 500 a month and David 250, probably forever. Their unattended campfire started the wildfire that burned 538,000 acres in Arizona and a small part of New Mexico last year. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.